What's going on guys, your boy Amazing here, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be going over the update maintenance for 1028, and uh, letting you guys know exactly what's going to be coming to Grand Cross this week. As you guys can see, man, we got the uh, update for Slime, guys, coming to Global finally, so it's going to be from the 6pm to 8pm PDT for the maintenance, so if you convert that to like Eastern Standard Time, that's about 11pm, uh, you know, tomorrow night, um, so yeah, so 6pm would be, uh, yeah, 9pm to 11 Eastern, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, guys, it's going to be dropping very, very soon. And let's talk about all the stuff in the actual patch notes here. So the first collab, LR Evolution Hero. The collab, the Demon Lord Returns Pickup Draw. 70s X Tensura Special Missions and World Quests. We have the 70s X Tensura Event Boss Battle Clayman. And then we also have these special missions to get Tyrant of Destruction Milam Nava for free. So yeah, those are like the main kind of gist of what the update uh, will entail, guys. Um, yeah, we do have that time I got reincarnated as a slime. So as you guys can see, we got Milam Nava, and we also got Xion as well. Now, in terms of my should you summon here, guys, for the characters, I've already made a video kind of discussing that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do a TLDR, though, for you guys. Uh, TLDR, man, this banner is actually worth summoning on, and both the characters are great. So, yeah, if you're someone that's, like, you know, kind of willing to spend gems uh, on this collaboration, definitely, you know, feel free to. It's not a bad thing to summon on. Um, but I explained more in my should you summon, guys, on why this banner is so good and why the characters are as strong as they are. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you guys know Milim is just broken, and Xion is a very, very strong PvE character at that. So, yeah, again, check out my should you summon if you want more information. But, uh, yeah, that is going to be that right there. So we have the Demon Lord Returns Pickup Draw with the Proven Power Milam Nava and the Demon Lord Secretary Xion. Read 600 loyalty points and select a collaboration hero to obtain, also featuring the original collab hero. So that's obviously very good. And you can see here that the 70SX Tensura is going to be uh, until the 18th of November. So that's, that's what, like three weeks total, guys? That's, that's a good amount of time right there, yeah. So definitely really good. All right, we got the uh, new contents here, guys. Hero Grade, LR Evolution, Proven Power, Milim Nava, and then uh, Octogram, Demon Lord, Rimuru Tempest. So both these characters are going to be getting LR Evolution. And because it's the first collab that we've ever gotten, I guess that's why they're hyping it up. You know, they're adding uh, two LRs here. Now, we've already talked about as well the changes for the LR, but I'll briefly go over it here, guys. Really nothing changed too much for, uh, uh, you know, Milim, but uh, Rimuru did get minor changes here. So you can see that for the Pierce Red, it goes from 130 to 140. That's all they touch is passive. And then for the uh, AoE skill, he actually did gain Flood effect on it. So it's now Flood uh, Infect, which is, you know, all right, I guess. Uh, but yeah, and then that's going to be that. Uh, collab LR uh, evolution materials added, so they're going to be a dimensional seal um, instead of the LR seal for these characters specifically. You're going to get it from the uh, special missions. You get a hundred of them, and then you get a hundred from the event boss battle claimant. So that is pretty good right there. And then uh, yeah, we do have the hero exchange shop, guys. So you know, again, if you're summoning on the banner and you have coins, you'd actually trade them in for any of the characters of your choosing. So you can get Shion, you can get Milim, you get uh, you know Shuna. Uh, Rimuru, even all three of the old characters, like, you have that option, which I think is really, really good. And then we have the Holy Relics here for the units, guys, so you can see exactly what they do. You have, uh, Cleansing for Xion on three single targets, so you get two debuff cleanse. And then, uh, Milim gets attribute advantage regardless of the target's attribute, which is kind of crazy. And then, uh, yeah, so there's all the, like, you know, just update changes. Now we got some bundles here we can kind of just scroll through, nothing super crazy with these. You know, there is a, uh, yeah, so they do have a purchase ticket, but the ticket rate on it, guys, is 25% for both the new units. So uh, it's 25, 25, so it's 50, and then the other 50% is the rest of the characters on the banner. So honestly, not bad for, for this guaranteed ticket, because um, you have a 50% chance at one of the new characters versus the older slime characters, which I think is good. Um, so that's something to note about, but other than that, uh, we can scroll past. So let's scroll past all the uh, packs right here. Now we got the new events here, guys. So we obviously have the check-in event. So 30 tickets on the first day. If you log in on Global before reset as well, you'll get the 15 tickets. And then after reset, you'll get the other 15. So you can get the, uh, t uh, what is that, three multis within like, I think it's like, what, five hours maybe, give or take, guys. So if you log in before reset, and then you log in after the reset as well. And then you guys can see here that we do get a free multi in the special missions. You get the uh, free Milim as well. The uh, obviously the other Milim, not the not the the uh, the dragon one, right? Um, so you do have the uh, LR seals as well. 
and then yeah we have the uh the world quest it's just a returning world quest nothing new with this um there are some uh good rewards in it and you do get a lot of gems actually guys i did this on my jp free to play already and i think i got like 30 gems guys that's actually good so yeah no they they definitely uh put a lot of gems in the uh world quest but it does take a while though it's i think it took me about an hour so yeah definitely a uh, long world quest at that but you do get a lot of gems guys and then, uh, yeah, right here are the missions to get the outfits here, the free-to-play outfits. So if you haven't gotten any of these, you definitely can make sure to grind them out uh, during the update. And then, uh, yeah, we do also have the uh, spin event. Um, so this is where we're going to get the uh, first Holy Relic box, right? So you get it at round four. Um, and then that's going to be available. You do also have the uh, Roulette Awards uh, uh, rewards right there, obviously, right? So you can see. And then, uh, yeah, then moving on, we got the Clay Man Exchange Shop and the Clay Man Event Boss. So we actually scroll down through to here. You can get the uh, Millum weapon from there, the two Millum weapons. You get the uh, free uh, SR Slime Rimuru. You get 100 LR uh, Dimensional Seals as well, guys. So that's obviously going to be really good for, you know, LRing the new characters. And then you do get another Holy Relic box here, guys. So the two Holy Relic boxes in this first week of the update are available. And then the rest of them are going to be either through the Diamond uh, Payback or you have it through the upcoming uh, Efrit event, right? So, uh, yeah, just, just uh, you know, take that into account. Um, yeah, so all the other outfits are available. You have uh, copies of the Slime Brimaroo as well. So, yeah, no, not, not bad at all. And then uh, moving on, we got the Underground Labyrinth Season 13. Um, so this is actually pretty good, guys, because they added a new outfit for it. So we actually scroll down here. We, uh, we have a new uh, UR Escanor outfit. And then they did actually return Purgatory Melee and Mayel. So that's obviously very good. And you get a total of 40 gems for that, guys. So obviously, uh, make sure to grind out your Labyrinth. I still have yet to do it on JP. I'm waiting for Global to get the update so I can do my guide on it. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's, you know, good amount of gems. I mean, you definitely want to grind it out. And it, it's free to play friendly, too. Um, yeah, and then we got the Demon Lord Returns uh, costume set. So these are the new uh, outfits, obviously, for the brand new Milam and the Shion. Uh, yeah, no, I really like the uh, the Raiden Shogun one and then the uh, the Inazuma outfit right here. But uh, yeah, I think overall, though, these outfits are actually pretty good, guys. So there's that. And then uh, Demon Lord Rumoru and Shuna actually did get two new outfits as well. So you guys can see the outfits available. And then these other ones are, are available as well as the existing ones. You can see the SSR ones are still purchasable with Diamond. These ones are going to actually be only paid for, though, which kind of sucks, right? They still have uh, these ones for diamonds, but, you know, there is that. And then, uh, yeah, the following costumes can be purchased in 90 diamonds. So you can see here that they did allow you to be able to buy uh, the original Rimuru, original Milam, and original Benny Maru outfits for gems now. So that's, uh, you know, that's a step in the right direction for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously, they it would be nice if we could have these ones too. But, you know, we take what we can get, guys. We take what we can get. Um... Yeah, moving past that, we got the Solgris Reward Dungeon. So, obviously, you're going to get your rewards from this every single day. Um, yeah, again, so the Diamond Perks event. So, as I mentioned, this is where you get the third Holy Relic Box in the update. And then, uh, yeah, you can see the Holy Relic Boxes. So, yeah, right here, they say that 5 is going to be in the Exchange Shop. But the Exchange Shop is split up, right? So, more are going to be obtained. They say right here, uh, Ifrit, which will be held after the 11-4 update maintenance, will have more of the collab boxes, right? Um, so bear that in mind, guys, that you won't be able to get all the Holy Relics done the first week. You'll have to wait, you know, a little bit uh, throughout the update as well. Yeah, and then they got the uh, new check-in heroes being Shion or Milim. So you can log in and they'll be uh, right in the middle of the tavern or in the, uh, you know, little Perchable Forest area. And then we do have some exchange stuff. Just your standard boosting events for, for a collab or like a big celebration. Um, Hog Pass mission, uh, you know, uh, period right here. So due to the shortened event period, some fourth week missions will be adjusted as follows. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we did get a new outfit for Percival. So there we go. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we scroll past this. We got the uh, just the standard battle event here, guys. And then a bunch of system updates here. So they added that in the event boss, you can do a time... Uh, what is it? Uh, 35 more pieces of Clayman's Mask if you do uh, 7x the uh, difficulty pretty much you do uh either you do one all the way to seven and it's gonna increase the enemy cc right there guys 380 uh, 380 kcc is pretty tough so there is that and then uh yeah the hero enhance uh xp has been increased as well so that's gonna be pretty good and then 15 team slots now this is a major w i'm glad that they added more team slots to the game because this is something that, that i've really like been looking forward to just adding you know more different team comps and uh being able to uh you know just kind of adjust those as well yeah, and then we got these stat changes right here, guys. So you can see here, uh, obviously, you can pause the video if you guys want to see the exact stat changes that, that you're looking for. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, nothing super crazy. I mean, none of these characters are, like, really that insane. Um, you know, I think, like, Shuna, like, even after hers are, like, yeah, they're, they're still just all right. Uh, but none of these characters are going to be super, super broken or anything like that. 
And again, guys, you can pause the video here if you guys do want to read the uh, Holy Relics and stuff. But I've already talked about them in the Shiju Summon, so you don't even have to worry about that. And then, uh, yeah, and then they got a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff right here, guys. So there we go. Alrighty guys, so that's going to be the patch notes right there for the uh, 1028 maintenance and event notice. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited to summon on slime. I'll be streaming my summons tomorrow night then. And uh, yeah, I'll have obviously the uh, the guide for the labyrinth and I'll have the guide out for the uh, clay man boss as well. So yeah, man, tune into the channel. Make sure you guys are subbed and you guys will uh, be up to date with all the content. So that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy and we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace out. Have a good rest of your day, guys. See you later, man.